So today I'm going to do another update on the microphone preamp project and I know it's been a while. So what I have to show you here is a package from Front Panel Express which to those in the know means the most expensive gummy bears you can buy. Um, it also means we're getting well on the way to uh, getting this thing properly packaged up and ready for testing. Okay so here's a quick look inside the box. Of course gummy bears Good ones too. Okay, so I pretend like this is a proper unboxing, but naturally I've already opened this a little bit. Okay, so what we've got here is we are going to be mounting this in a 19 inch rack mount box. And so we have three panels that we've made up um, as replacement panels for those that were supplied with the, uh, with the box. So it's uh, two rack units high. That is the inner front panel, uh, apertures for the meter, the uh, gain pot, the two switches, uh, the input jack, and the power switch. Okay, now here comes the big reveal. There we go. Okay, so there is your inner front panel which is in anodized aluminium with a chromated back um, to help with conductivity. Um, and the idea behind the, uh, the two front panels is to uh, hide the fasteners. So the, uh, the nuts that'll be holding the, uh, the switches and the pot will be hidden behind this panel here. Okay, so moving on right along. Okay, so wrapped up here, we have the rear panel. Let's see if we can get this out of here and not scratch anything. Okay, so there you have your rear panel, which is uh, finished in uh, powder coated aluminium. That's uh, two millimeters thick. So we have an aperture for our uh, IC um, receptacle and line filter and fuse and what have you. And let's just try dropping that in there and See if that actually fits, which it does. And the dog hair there. Bonus dog hair comes with everything around here. Okay, that looks like it should work nicely. Okay, let's get that out of there. Set that aside. Try not to scratch anything. Okay, now here is the real deal, which is the actual front panel. So. Here was my, my idea. Um, what we've gone with is, we've gone with uh, mounting the power switch on the front panel and, and also the micro input, mostly because otherwise the front panel looks a bit lonely. Obviously that stuff could go on the back, but I've gone with putting them on the front. And we have, and we have machined um, a, little, um, um, a little rebate uh, for the meter and the uh, the input jack and the power switch um, and that's uh, just to make those sit a little nicer that won't sit flush it'll still be raised slightly but it just makes it look rather a little bit nicer it fits together well too i'll just I'll grab a meter and pop him in there just to see how that's going to look okay so now, here comes the moment of truth, except, to be honest, I've already tried this and it does fit. There we go. There we go. Don't show the reflections, that's no good. Come the other way. There we go, look at that. Lovely. Okay, that's going to work. There we go. So I've just test fit the, uh, the inner panel to the board, just to make sure it does actually line up. Let's just flip that around there we go and uh, yeah so thankfully our uh, switches and the uh, pot shaft line up with the holes so that's all looking good now so that looks very promising indeed so for the power switch um, I've got a, a couple of choices 
of illuminated rocker switch um, got the red and the green um, not totally sure as yet which I'm going to go with um, if the uh, if the green is uh, suitably kind of warm and yellowish looking as it would be if there's a neon bulb in there that might look the part um, if it's kind of full-on uh, modern LED bottle green then no that's not going to look right and we'll go with the red um, either way hopefully that should uh, it kind of snap fits into there so I don't actually want to push that all the way in for fear it'll yeah don't really want it that's going to be fine that's going to work I'm reasonably confident about that it's going to fit in that channel that's going to fit in there yep I think we're going to be okay I don't really want to push that all the way in just in case and also just to be sure just to make sure that the uh, XLR connector is a nice fit which it is so yeah you can sort of see how it's going to uh, look the part even uh, somewhere we have there we go it's the uh, new style of uh, uh, chicken head type knob I'm going to use um, that should work quite nicely sort of like that um, haven't gone with a uh, a full graduated scale around there because um, the gain adjustment on preamps like this it's all at the, the, the top end there anyway uh, lots of action down here very little happens down here and to put evenly spaced markers around there just seemed a bit a bit foolish really so there you have it um, let's just bring the, the other part in there we go there's the rear panel there so you can kind of see how this is all going to come together Let's move some of this junk out of the way. Try to be a little bit careful that I don't scratch anything. But you can sort of see how by sandwiching those two panels together, we're going to end up with quite a nice looking result with the uh, fasteners hidden. There we go. Anyway, that's um, where we're up to so far. Thanks again for watching.